Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, I'm going to get into this Jared Enos performance against Karen, and I'm not saying, I have no idea if I'm saying this right, Karen Chukajan, is that right? Chukajan? Is that how we're saying this today? Um, I'm going to get into it. I want to give my thoughts on, on Enos. Um, underwhelming is the word lots of people are using. But before we get into that, please share, like, share, and subscribe. Please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits coming at you every day. Eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. It's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Okay, uh, let's get into today's show. Um, uh, Jared Enos has been absolutely annihilating everyone in sight. Uh, I mean, just destroying them. So he moved his record now. He's 30 and 0, 27 knockouts. He, he, I can't even. Thomas Delorme, one round. Uh, Castillo Clayton, two rounds. Sergey Lippin at six rounds. It, it utterly destroyed him. Uh, the Christian Eden fight, he was on his way to destroying before that got stopped. Um, uh, Juan Carlos Abreu, uh, six round. And it's one after another after another. Um, Going all the way back. When was the last time he didn't stop someone? You know, uh, I, I can't even. I, I can't even remember. It's probably early in his career. James Winchester is is what I'm seeing here. Back in 2017, is that right? But he's been destroying everyone. I mean, not just knocking him out, but absolutely annihilating. Him. And you know, there's there's like two issues. A his resume is fine. Lipinets is a good fighter. That's a great win. That's the best win on his resume. Because Neil Clinton's a solid fighter. It's a good win. He's got two wins. Um, but those guys are kind of there to be hit. Um, and we had gotten a little far ahead of ourselves calling Jared Enos, you know, the best fighter in the world. He's pound for pound, this, that, and the third. When his best win is Sergey Lipinets. Now, look, I haven't changed my opinion on Jared Enos at all. I think he's excellent. I think he's absolutely excellent. I think he's a force to be reckoned with, and he's going to be a king of the welterweight division. And, you know, him and, and Virgil Ortiz, as long as Virgil can still make it, are going to run that division for as long as they can continue to make that way. This outing, this performance, is being called a disappointment, underwhelming. He's a hype job. Are we this fickle as boxing fans? I mean, really. So he fought a guy in Karen Chukajan, who I, I think is a solid. I, I, I'm going to – I basically agree with the judges. I had 11-1. They all had a 12 nothing. So the fight was at no point close, right? And I, I kind of feel the same way. Now, Virgil eventually got out um, – Michael McKinson, he eventually got rid of him, right? Boots didn't. He never really even got close to getting rid of Chukajan. Um. But Verge is more of a seek and destroy guy, right? Like he's going out there seeking and destroy. Where with, with Boots, it happens and it happens quickly, right? Um, so he didn't get rid of him. Like so what? Like you're not going to get a spectacular knockout in every single fight. You fought a guy here who I think is pretty good. I think we're going to see Chukajan again. I think he's going to be a top 15, a top 20 welterweight. He's going to be relevant in the picture. He, I, I think he shows he belongs at a world-class level. Now, is he going to beat these guys? No, probably not. But he's competitive. Um, could he beat Lipinets? Maybe. Like He might could beat Lipinets. Like, he's good. Like, uh, Chukajan, I believe, showed that he belongs. The same way McKinson shows he belongs. I think Chukajan looked better than McKinson, honestly. Um, so he belongs at this level. He belongs at this level. Um, we're going to see him again. So when you go back and look at it, this is not a bad performance. You had a guy who would not engage. He was not going to engage. He wasn't going to open up. 
And people are just so blown away because he landed a few shots. Like, look, Boots has been destroying everyone. It's a boxing fight. It's a fight. You're going to get hit. Like, you guys just expect him to go out there and dismantle everyone in two rounds. Like, it, it, it doesn't happen that way. You're not going to knock everyone out in the first round. You're not going to knock everyone out. And this was a guy who wouldn't engage, who wouldn't come out of his shell, right? And what did you want Enos to do? He literally won every round on every scorecard. And I know maybe somebody gave him two rounds, one I gave him one round. It doesn't matter. The fight wasn't competitive, and he's not a bad fighter. So he blew out an overmatched fighter who's a good fighter, but not anywhere near his level. What else did you want from him? I mean, this is the same thing when – um. Uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, everyone was was down on, on you know Ryan Garcia when when Garcia fought uh, to go, um, and everyone was disappointed with the performance. Oh, he's got to do a better job with to go. You know, what do you want him to do? Like he blew him out. He, he won every round. He dominated him. He just didn't get the stoppage. Like if that's your only complaint. Get another complaint. It's a good performance from Enos. Like my opinion on him has not changed. He just showed that he can go the distance. And he's not going to get phased. You know, we can nitpick. We can find things. Like, I don't really see a plan B. Like, I, I didn't see a plan B in Enos. Like, but he also wasn't losing rounds. It wasn't like he, what, what he was doing wasn't working. He was winning every round. So if you're winning every round, why go to plan B? Because the fans want a knockout? Because Steven Jackson is there? And and, and and they're starting to be hyped, so you now now I need to switch it up and, 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 and do something different when I'm winning. No, if you're winning every single round, continue to win every single round and don't do anything differently. Just keep winning every round. It's like the old saying in football, if you could run up the middle for four yards a clip, don't do anything else. And I kind of agree with that here. Like Enos was doing, was working in the sense that it was winning rounds. So why is he going to change it up for you? Right, because you hyped him up to your friend, uh, or, 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 and then like, look, I don't think it was an A plus performance. It wasn't his best performance. It wasn't, you know, when Jaron Enos is fighting for a world title, and we go back and we look at his best performances, this isn't going to be up there. At the same time, it wasn't a bad performance. He didn't perform poorly. Give him a B plus. I, I give him a B plus as a grade. What would you give him? And keep in mind, he fought a competitive guy, a good guy, a, a quality opponent. Now, again, Chukajar hasn't fought anyone. You go back, you look, and we'll get into that. Chukajar hasn't fought anyone. But give him a grade. He fought a quality opponent and beat him up every round. What do you want from the guy? Like, it's got to be a posterizing knockout every single time. Good performance by Boutinus. Well done by Boutinus. We, we go back, um, and really the best opponent, I, I, I think, you know, there's Ryan Martin he beat. You guys may remember Ryan Martin. Um, maybe not. It's, it's, it's really unspectacular. Um, Ali Fanuka is the other name on his resume that you guys may know. Um, Ali Fanuka is, is a veteran. He's 100 years old. He's got a record of 40 and 11 and 3. Uh, he's been in with Samuel Vargas. He's been with Jeff Horn. I mean, he's just been in with everyone. And and uh, when Chuka John fought him, the, the, the layoff came after the Chuka John fight. But, he, you know, Chukajan hasn't been in with the best level of opposition. And then what's the other guy he's been in with? The other name chukajan has been in with? Uh, Roberto Ari Ariaza, uh, a fighter from Uruguay, I think. And then those are basically the names on his resume. I don't – Blake Minto. I, I don't know. You know, like these aren't world beaters. These, these aren't great fighters. Um, but but Chuka John did what he had to do, took care of them, knocked out most of those names I, I just gave you, and did what he needed to do. So we, we're going to see him again. And, and when Chuka John gets quality wins, has quality performances against other fighters, I mean, are, are you guys still going to say that this fight was underwhelming? This fight was underwhelming? I mean, it, it, underwhelming it, it, it is directly related to your expectation. If you built him up to be the greatest fighter in the history of the world, and anything other than a first round knockout is underwhelming. Then okay, it was underwhelming, but that's your own expectation. That's your own problem. Like his performance was good. If you had an up and coming prospect who gave this performance against this level of opposition, you would say, "Good job. That's a good performance, man. Pat him on the back. Good job." But like 
because you've got accustomed to first round knockouts, that's all you you're not going to knock everyone out, especially in the first two rounds, you know, and just blow them away. It doesn't work that way at this level. And Chuka John is a good fighter at a high level. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Has your opinion changed on uh on on uh Jared Boots Eaters? Are, are, are you souring on him a bit? I mean let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Um, quick hits, again, because that's you every day. We'll be back tomorrow, 8, 10 minutes a day. We may be back later today if some news comes up. Um, and please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. And uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, so uh, it is... January 9th already, 2023, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.